This is question 13. Here we're told that Fred has a solid brass model of an Egyptian pyramid. We're told the model has a, a volume of 3,000 centimetres cubed and the density of the brass is 8.5 grams per centimetre cubed. In part A we're asked to calculate the mass of the model. So in order to do this what we need to know is that density so we need to know this formula that density is equal to mass divided by volume so if we look at the information that we've got we have got the volume and the density so we can then say that the density is 8.5 grams per centimetre cubed and that is equal to the mass divided by the volume which is 3000 centimetres cubed. So to work out the mass all that I'm going to have to do is multiply 8.5 by 3000. So 8.5 multiplied by 3000 and that is going to give me an answer of so 8.5 multiplied by 3000 that's going to give me an answer of 25500. So 25500 and look at our units here it's grams per centimeter cubed so that means that we're dealing with 25500 grams but the question tells us to give our answer in kilograms so if it's 25500 grams there are 1000 grams in every 1 kilogram so that means that our final answer here is going to be 25 point, point 0.5 kilograms so final answer for part a 25.5 now for part b for part b we're told that the model and the egyptian pyramid are mathematically similar the length of the base of the model is 25 centimeters so the the length of the base the bit on the floor is 25 centimeters then we're told that the length of the base of the egyptian pyramid is 225 so i've got a length here of 25 and that's centimeters of the model and the length of the base of my Egyptian pyramid is 225 and that's meters so what I first of all need to do is I need to work out what the scale factor is for the length um, for length between the model and the Egyptian pyramid so what I can say is that the scale factor for length is simply going to be 225 divided by 25. So 225. And oh, be, I need to be careful. So I almost fell into a trap there. It's 225 meters. This is 25 centimeters. So we're going to need these to be in the same units. So rather than call that 25 centimetres, let's call that 0 0.25 metres. So I'm going to do 225 divided by 0 0.25. And that will give me the scale factor between the model and the pyramid. So working that out, I'm going to do 225 divided by 0 0.25. And that gives me an answer of 900. So my scale factor, what I would have to multiply the length of the model by to get the length on the Egyptian pyramid, I would have to multiply that by 900. Then what I need to do is I then need to say, OK, well, what is the scale factor for the volume? 
Now the scale factor for the volume, if you think about how volume is created, uh, is calculated, volume is calculated by multiplying the lengths in three different dimensions. So that means that I would be multiplying by a scale factor of 900 in three dimensions. So in fact, my scale factor for the volume is going to be 900 and that's going to be 900 cubed. So I'm here, what I'm told is that the volume of the model has a volume of 3000 centimeters cubed. So the model has a volume of 3000 centimeters cubed. So this is 3000 centimeters cubed. And then what I'm then going to have to do is to work out what the volume of the actual pyramid is, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to multiply 3000 centimeters cubed and I'm going to have to multiply that by 900 cubed. So working this out, I'm going to say that this is 3000 multiplied by 900 cubed and that's going to give me an answer of 2.187 times 10 to the power of 12. So my pyramid would be 2.187 times 10 to the power of 12 centimeters cubed. Now let's just check the question here. It says that I need to give my answer in meters cubed. So in order to turn centimeters cubed into meters cubed, what I need to again think about is, well, how many centimeter cubes are there in one meter cubed? And so in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. In one meter squared, well, that would be 100 multiplied by 100. That would be 10,000. And then in one meter cubed, well, that would be 100 centimeters in one direction, in one dimension. Then 100 centimeters going in another, and 100 centimeters going in the third dimension. So that would be 100 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 100, which would give me 1 million. So what I now need to do is then I need to say, okay, well, what I'm saying is that there are 1 million centimeters cubed for every 1 meter cubed. So that means that I'm going to have to divide this answer that I got originally by 1 million. So Dividing this by 1 million and I mean I don't really need to use a calculator but we will anyway. Um, so dividing this by 1 million um, and just why I said I don't really need to use a calculator because I can think of this as being 10 to the power of 6 so I could just divide by 10 to the power of 6 and it's going to give me 2.187 times 10 to the power of 6. Um, but if we want to use our calculator, we can do. And so this gives us an answer of uh, 218700, and that's meters cubed. So our final answer there, uh, oh, missed out a zero, um, 2 million 187,000 meters cubed. And that would be our final answer. So just just need to be a little bit careful here um, and kind of the big the big thing here is just recognizing these different units and the the conversions between meters meter squared and meters cubed and also recognizing how that 
affects um, how the difference is between scale factor for length and the scale factor for volume. Uh, but anyway, our final answer, 2,187,000 metres cubed.